Hey everybody, make sure you like and subscribe to our YouTube channel, Keeping Up With The Davis Family. Um, again, we appreciate all the people who have subscribed and um, who, you know, comment. Um, we really appreciate it. So today, I'm going to, just so you all know, I'm just not getting off work, so I have a long journey home. And um, today, I wanted to talk about marriages that are in trouble. Um, which I'm sure a lot of people will be able to relate to. I've been married for over 15 years. I've been with my husband for 18 years. And um, we do have kids. We have three girls. Um, two of them are grown. And when I say grown, let me be clear. One is 19, one is 18. So yes, they're adults. Um, and my youngest is 16. And let me tell you, in the beginning of our marriage, uh, we were immature. You know, we both thought we had the answers, but who we are today, that's not who we were 18 years ago, you know, 15 years ago, 10 years ago. We've grown and we've matured over time and we've learned to uh, improve in certain areas that we knew that needed work, whether it was, you know, a lack of communication or maybe it was just acknowledging one another. You know how it is. You together so long you just kind of forget I don't even want to say forget sometimes well, maybe that's the right word you forget um, that he still wants to be complimented or that um, you know he still likes for you to cook for him whatever the case may be you know and again I'm speaking from my own personal experiences um, over the years we've had our hardships and let me tell you one of the things that I have always done, um, even to this day, is I have very few friends that I talk to um, that I'm able to confide in when I'm having issues within my marriage. And that doesn't mean that I don't talk to my husband, but when I'm feeling a certain type of way and maybe I don't feel like he's listening, and sometimes maybe it's one of those situations where I'm like, you know what, my friend will tell me the truth. She'll be honest with me. And I'll ask her, and it's like, oh, okay. I didn't look at it like that. Oh, okay. Well, maybe she's having me look at it from a different perspective. So I encourage um, all, you know, married people to communicate. But if you're not able to communicate with your spouse, that's obviously a red flag right there. And if you're not able to voice your opinion without it being an argument all the time and you guys can agree to disagree, that's another red flag. You're not going to agree on everything. And for those that are married and who's really working toward making sure the marriage works, you have to know it's not always going to be good days. Um, there will be bad days, but you have to make sure you're not confiding. You know, this is just my personal opinion. I've seen people that are married, and I mean, sometimes it's even strangers, and they'll tell me, I mean, they all their business. I don't know nothing about them. I never met their husband or never met their wife, and I probably know more about them than I know about, you know, people that I should know things about. And one of the things that I've come to know is, is that, you know, people that are married, it's okay to confide in certain folks, but everybody don't need to know your business. It's not everybody's business when you having issues. I don't care who you are. It's not everybody's business. And the truth be told, it's nobody's business. But if you are going to confide in somebody about what's going on in your marriage, you need to make sure that they really are your friend. Because some people, and I said this even about the family support video that I did. Um, everybody just, they don't want to see you do well. They don't want to see you succeed, whether it's in marriage, um, whatever it could be. So you just got to keep in mind that when you're confiding in people about issues that you are having in your marriage, you know, is it really going to just stay between you and that person? Are they really going to give you the best advice? In fact, are they really somebody who can give you advice? You need to start there. Um, oftentimes, people are just confiding in folks because they want to vent. But 
you want to know what at the end of the day what goes on in your household that's your business but if you are one of those you know people out there couples or married married families whatever if you are one of those families uh couples that you don't mind putting your business out there whatever it is you know hey that's fine but just be honest um you know the reality is is that every day is not a great day every day is not a great day and what i mean by that is it's days when my husband absolutely cannot stand me he loves me but he can't stand me and vice versa he gets on my nerves or maybe i'm just irritated that day or you know what maybe it's not even him but i'm just taking it out on him the reality is is that we all go through things when we are married and it's okay but you don't always have to pretend like everything is okay you know it's people out there that would love to see your marriage fail but then you have people out there that really they really are rooting for you so you just make sure that if you are having hardships in your marriage you need to be the one to decide if excuse me if that's what you want to do don't leave that decision up to your homegirls and your homeboys and they trying to tell you what you need to do in your marriage. Is that what you want to do? If that's what you want to do, great. You know what? Then you got to figure out a plan so everybody can be happy and move on. And better yet, just so everybody can just get out of that unhealthy relationship. Because everybody usually is not happy when, you know, they're going their separate ways. But that's really something that a lot of people need to start thinking about. When you're ready to call a quiz and you really don't know what you want to do, which to me, that's normal when you're having issues within the marriage. But, you know, look at your circle. Who are you confiding in? Who's giving you advice? Who's helping you through that hardship? Because you can't go through issues alone, which goes back to what I was just talking about yesterday, the support. That's why it's important to have support. It may not be from your family. Maybe you do have a best friend. You know, I have very few friends that I confide in and they confide in me. And that's that. I'm honest. And sometimes we so honest with one another. It just it kind of pisses us off sometimes. Like, man, dang. You know what? I should have called you first before I went off. Or, dang, I should have listened to you or whatever the case may be. Um. So if you're married and you trying to figure things out guess what that's okay you figure it out don't be letting your circle of friends or so-called friends or cousins or even your mom don't be letting nobody figure out your life that is your life and whether it's a bad marriage or a good marriage if it's a bad marriage obviously you shouldn't be in it but you want to know what that's still a decision you have to make because until you're ready to get out of that marriage it's not going to do you any good to even confide in anybody because you can't let somebody else tell you what you need to do you don't let somebody else tell you what you should be doing with your husband or your wife that's something you need to figure out so if you are one of those people out there who's struggling you trying to figure out what your next move is you know what before you do that make sure y'all talk about it y'all have a honest conversation and i'm gonna tell you now it's gonna start there but if you can't even have an honest conversation about issues that you're having and let me say it again don't go that red flag and that doesn't mean that just because it's a red flag that means you got to go and get a divorce no that's not what i'm saying but that's the red flag it's, if you can't even have a conversation then i don't even know how it's going to improve anyway so just really be thinking about you know how you want to approach you know these conversations that you having with your spouse um make sure that if you do have family or friends that support you that support your marriage and you're not sure that you know you actually trust that if you call and ask them for advice they'll actually give it to you and they mean it and even if that means that you might call them a couple of days in a row whatever the case may be they don't mind that but i think it's important for people to understand that when you are married I don't care who you are. It's no such thing as a perfect marriage. You're going to have issues. That's normal. Um, you know, oftentimes, even with social media, you know, um, let's face it. Most of us do it. And I say us. I recently just got a Facebook and I put what I want people to know out there. 
period. And that's what people do. They put things that they want you to know or what they want you to have the perception of. It doesn't mean that because all you see is the great memories that people don't have issues. It just means that it's none of your business. That's all. That's it. But for the people that, you know, they're able to just be raw and honest and show the world what they're going through. I mean, everybody's different. That's not my thing. But I think if you are going to put it out there, then put it out there. Be honest. You know, or then try to guide these couples out here to try to make sure they understand, hey, so they can have a better idea of what they should not be going through or what you're going to be doing different because you want to know what it, there are some people out there on social media and they just be letting everybody into their business and that's fine, you know, um, but I think that everything is not for everybody and you know, that's my opinion about that. So if you are a married couple and you are struggling um, with issues within your marriage, y'all need to sit down and talk about it. Y'all need to come to an understanding to make sure you guys are on the same page. And if you're not on the same page, it's okay if you decide, you know what, we need to go our separate way. Don't be staying together because you got kids. Don't be staying together because that's what, it looks good. You know what I mean? That's another issue. People like to stay married because it's like, well, you know, it looks good on the outside. It's okay. It's okay. If you're unhappy and you don't think this is something you can do anymore, move on. You know, now is the time for everybody to start recognizing that if you are unhappy, it is time to get up and get out. And you need to figure out what you want to do that's going to make you happy. If you want to make it work, then you really need to be given 250% each and every day. And let me tell you something. Even when things get better, you still have to give 250%. Marriage is not easy. So, for anybody who thinks marriage is easy, for anybody, and I'm again, I'm speaking from personal experience. If anybody thinks that you're coming home to a, you know, three-course meal and he's cooking and cleaning every night I don't even do it so I mean if that's what you're going home to great but you know my husband has um, a lot of other great qualities I can't speak again for anybody else so even if he's lacking as far as cooking it's just like you know right now I'm headed home he didn't cook but he went and made sure we had dinner I don't care that's fine I'm happy with that um, and just because, you know, your homegirl's man or your homeboy's wife might be cooking every night, so what? You not them. And quit trying to compare your marriage to everybody. So you make sure whatever makes you happy, that's what you're doing. Whatever needs to be worked on in your marriage, that's what you're working on. Not what somebody else is trying to tell you. That's what society thinks you should be doing. This is how it should look. So, um, again, if you're married, you're having issues, talk it out. And if you're married, having issues, and you're ready to just leave, then you know what? You still need to talk it out, and you need to do it the right way. All right? So tell me what you guys think. Leave a comment below. Like and subscribe. And I shall see you again.